He's also super clingy with Joanna. George has been following me constantly for eight years. If I was to get up now, like now, he will follow me everywhere. Yeah. Doesn't so care about me. He doesn't care about me. <laughs> He'll follow me up the stairs. If I go and sit over here, He'll be with me if I was to get up now. Good boy. Stay. Yeah. See you in a minute. George loves following Joanna so much that when she goes out, his frustration turns to destruction when he empties all the cupboards. We have to stop going out because of George. We can't leave him when we're worried what he might do to the house and also yeah. about his health. Oh. Oh. He's bitten into that. You know, he could hurt himself trying to pull anything out of the cupboards. George, you're going to get stuck behind there if you go in there. We did go out New Year's Eve a few years ago and there must have been a giant firework display around here. And when we got home, it just trashed the whole house. So we never did that again. We can't really go out of an evening and leave no. him because he just trashes the place. What yeah. do you mean by trashes the place? Well, he empties all the cupboards out and he does all the beds, doesn't he, yeah. as well? He's got such strength, you wouldn't think it being so small, but he, he pulls plates, jugs, toasters, pots and pans, yeah. just to get in the cupboard, then come straight out again, and then go in again. When you go out, do you leave him with anything? I leave the radio on, I leave the lights on for him, I leave certain rooms open for him so he has a free reign. He'll usually just sit on the window ledge and wait for us to come home, won't he? Yeah. Victoria wants to find out what could be behind George's strange obsession with the kitchen cupboards. And it doesn't take long for her to see some action for herself. Oh, look, he's... So I opened the cupboard, he was like, oh, well, I'm just going to... I'm just, just going to take, that, take out, that out. And then he would take that upstairs to the bedroom. You know, usually dogs that become anxious on separation, when their people go out, mm. there's normally sort of chewing, a lot of that type of distraction. Yeah. But this is quite unique, I have to say. Emptying Taking cupboards. stuff into mm. other places. You've got a very sensitive dog here. Obviously, he does have separation anxiety, um, and it manifests itself in a bizarre way. He is hyper-attached to you. That's why he follows you everywhere. His experience of being left alone has caused him to panic in the past, to the point where he actually vomits. That's a big sign that he is panicking. He likes to get things out of cupboards. <laughs> from now on, you are going to stop him from doing that yeah. by closing the kitchen door when you leave. All right, I okay. don't want him getting that stuff out of the kitchen. I also understand that this dog needs to do this. This is his way of coping, which yeah. is the reason why just behind you is a closet. This is the closet, if you're OK with it, that he can open and he can empty out. Oh, I but see, But instead yeah. of emptying out bad stuff, yeah. <laughs> he He's can empty out. out toys. On the bed, you will see some toys. Oh. And there's a T-shirt that smells of you oh, and there's right. a T-shirt that smells of you, Mick. If oh, you can okay. take them yeah. and put them in the closet. Yeah, I will okay. too. Yeah, probably. You take some, Mick. <laughs> Oh, look. Look. Look at that. <laughs> now, he can take his toys wherever he wants. Yeah. Do you see that I am still giving him his coping mechanism, but I'm making it safer? By putting toys in the cupboard, we're giving George an outlet. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.